fucking love Florida, man. You know we think that y'all are crazy, right? Everybody outside of Florida. So like, and I know y'all love it, dude. So like when we come here, we're looking for the crazy Florida shit. And it's quick when you see, like it hits you immediately. Bro, the security guard in my hotel is cockeyed, right? So at first I'm pissed off, right? At first I'm furious. I'm like, how the fuck are you gonna secure shit? It's this cockeyed bitch. It's a woman at first, so I'm like, you're not secure. I need to secure you. It's not, what are you gonna do to help me? We got a female security guard who's cockeyed. And I'm furious and I'm looking at this bitch. She's kind of looking at me. You know, she's. And then I sit there for a second and I process everything. I'm like, wait a minute. Nothing getting by her, bro. morning, Miami. I am fucking destroyed. It's actually not even morning. It's, it's fucking three o'clock in the afternoon. It's three o'clock in the afternoon. That's Will. That's Alex. We went out hard last night. Hi guys. How are you? Yo. Yeah. Oh, Alright, where I live, Joseph is signing the famous wall. Y'all probably saw the, you probably have already seen that by now. Alex, have they seen that by now? I'm not even asking you, Alex. I'm asking editor Alex, whatever. Basically, you probably saw what happened. I could party still. I just need the entire next day to recover. I literally could not get out of bed until four o'clock. Drinking water made me want to throw up. I only got up so I wouldn't shit my pants in the bed. <laughs> That's the only reason Alex thought about it because there's two beds in the room and you didn't use the other bed. So I was like, yo, I might just take a shit in this bed and just figure it out and sleep in the other one. Oh, Miami. But all right, now we're going to see real Miami. I don't even know if it's real Miami. Will, is it real Miami? Yeah, hell yeah. This is like post Bay of Pigs Miami. Right. The rednecks would say that we've made, created this Miami at their expense. Y'all gentrified them. That's, you guys don't get enough credit as gentrifiers. No, we don't. Latinos be gentrifying. We control basically everything in this town. Well, that's not going to make white people feel good. <laughs> everything that you see out there was all built by fucking cocaine cowboys. Really? Oh, hell yeah. I'm too hungover to even try to disagree. Anyway, we're going to check out some Cuban shit. We're going to go to uh, Hialeah. Is that how you pronounce Hialeah. it? Hialeah. Yes, it is. Hialeah. I should go to Calle Ocho. Calle Ocho first. Calle Ocho first, Versailles, then we'll go to Hialeah. Oh shit, there was a porn I used to watch back in the day called 8th Street Latinas. Yeah, hell yeah. Is that from Calle Ocho? Bang Brothers. Bang Bros, yeah. Yeah. Is that where it's from? Hell yeah. <laughs> no way. Bro, I almost dropped out of college after watching Bang Bros or Bang Bus. I remember I was in my dorm, so I was watching these guys who just pick up chicks on the street and they would have sex with them inside their van. And I was like, what am I studying psychology for? Why would I waste my fucking time when I could just buy a van and then bang chicks? Yeah, they would make a bank. They put houses on like Fisher Island. They're like Miami yeah. royalty, those guys. So what you're saying is I should stop giving away my comedy specials for free. You should stop giving away your comedy specials for free. All right. Or keep giving them away for free and then get book places because we've become really fucking popular with <laughs> 7 million views. Oh. Alright, we're gonna go check out Hylia and Cayocho and Bang Bros. Peace. Yeah. 
Here we are, Cafe de Saigues. Probably the most famous Cuban restaurant in all of Miami. I have nothing to substantiate that statement whatsoever. I just said it. It might be, it might not be. All right, what should we get? Uh, dude, would you want a steak? You could have a yep. picadillo. Yep. Um, I want eggs, too. Can I do have eggs? We could do breakfast. Cuban coffee. Cuban coffee. Three. Not yet. I'll have it at the end. Two. Um, what do you have to eat? Let's I want a palomilla con arroz blanco. Al. Uh, vaca frita. Beef or chicken? Huh? Beef or chicken? Beef. Okay, yeah, Ron. Do you want white or yellow? Excuse me? Do you want rice with white rice and black beans? White yeah. rice with yeah. black beans? Yeah. 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 Your face is bad, but... Because he said, he said, can I get vaca frita, which means like fried cow, right? Yeah. And then you were like, beef or chicken? And he was like, man, I don't know about chicken cows. I don't even know if those exist out here, bro. <laughs> but I will try it. <laughs> what is a good uh, steak situation? The palomilla that I'm getting, dude. That's the one? Yeah, that's the... That's the... Vale. Versailles, man. Right. This is like the Cuban place to go. For a tourist and even some locals, you know, it's why it's been here for years, man. I think it's been here since the '50s, since the late '50s. It's, it's you know, it was opened by you know people that came over here when Castro first took power and opened up this restaurant. It's, it feels like home. It feels like part of Cuba. It feels like part of their culture. Nine that's brothers. That's salt. No, it's not. That's salt. Bro. This? That's sugar, bro. Let me fuck with him, bro. Come on, this guy don't believe everything. What is this? Tony Montana. That's a uh, garlic. Jimmy Carter um, made a deal with Castro and um, said, um, Castro said, I'm going to let a whole bunch of people go. And what Castro did was empty out all his jails and empty out like all the undesirable. Really? Yeah. And he let them all come over here to Cuba. Smart idea. Yeah. Castro was a pretty smart guy until he died. How are we not able to take them out? Great question. Let me tell you how connected Cubans are to Cuba. They all came here from that island. 90% of them have not left from 100 miles away from where that island was. This is their new Cuba? This is their new Cuba. My mom went back to visit family. Really? Yeah. What'd she say? She said she couldn't believe how poor it was, she couldn't believe how impoverished. Now, people don't have food to eat. They don't, it's... People uh, make steaks. Oh, you're gonna think I'm making this up. People make steaks out, out of, of the, chicken. Out of, the, <laughs> out of the paper that the steak was wrapped in. What? They cook the paper and then the flavor because the steak was in the paper and then they eat the paper. No, they don't eat paper. Yeah. I'm not lying. Truth. The Cuban truth. How are the prostitutes over there though? It's actually one of the reasons why I don't want to go. You don't want to go? Because you know you'd indulge. I, 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 I know, I know I have a lot of friends that get over there and within 15 minutes they have a wife. You know what I mean? For the weekend. And I don't oh, for want, the weekend? Yeah. yeah, that's fine. I don't want to be a part of that life. That's still, Cuba's too important to me. Really? So you'd go to the DR instead? <laughs> <laughs> Sunday or during the day, crazy. This is all packed with people. They're playing dominoes, playing chess, hanging out. Yeah, I don't even know how to play dominoes. You just gotta match the number. No, yeah, pretty much. YouTube, no nada. Guess it's time to go. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate no, he it. lost, so he's got to get up. It's like it's like a basketball game. Oh, that's so. Yeah, next. that's the guy got, got up. He, oh, yeah, someone's shit. got next. I love it when they get excited and they start. Oh slamming yeah, they start on slamming. Yeah. yeah. He had a 6-9 and he lost. 6 is a good chip to have. Right? Yeah. All right, Pete Takashi. I didn't know what was happening, but I was like, they gonna fight? <laughs> <laughs> he slammed that shit. I was like, uh oh, it's getting saucy. Want to get a cigar? 
Oh, hell yeah. I don't know if I could pull it off, especially in a place as open as this, but sometimes if you talk to the right guy, they'll sneak in, they'll get you the actual Cubans, but I don't know if that's... Hell yeah, let's try to get a real Cuban. <laughs> What's good, son? Appreciate it, man. You coming out to the show tonight? No, where? That's at the Miami Improv. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I came from going up to the in with Del Rey, but man. Next time, still? brother. Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're Charlotte, man. You guys are fun. Thank man. you, homie. This is Alex. He does all the videos. Anyway, man, thanks a lot, brother. Right, have a good Be good, all right? You too. Yo. Como estamos? That's the funniest. Go away. The funniest thing is people like, oh, I love your comedy. I'm like, hey, you coming to the show tonight? And they're like, you got a show tonight? <laughs> nah. Ah. <laughs> wait, wait, listen to it. Come here, we gotta hear this. Come oh, here. Man, man. I just asked him about the embargo being lifted and he's telling me no. Oh, no? No. Oh, no. Yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. So still no Cuban cigars. Yeah. What about some under the table ones, you know what I mean? Big man. Dude got big man right there, bro. <laughs> he was very passive aggressive. He, got, he kept going, uh, he kept going, uh, I know you know nothing about cigars, like you are incompetent with cigars, but, uh, but that is a stupid question. Stupid, that is a stupid question. Who give a fuck about cigars, stupid? You sell cancer. You literally sell people cancer for a living. They got more high ground, sort of sweatpants khakis. <laughs> Amazing beard though. Put your hands together for Andrew Show. Guys, I'm still recovering. I had a colada and then shit my brains out for tonight. These sneaky ass bitches at Cafe Versailles or whatever. I asked for a Cuban coffee. That's the one with the milk. Right? That's the black. Bro, real talk, I don't know why y'all do cocaine, man. I'm shaking from that colada. My butthole lips are fluttering, bro. It sounds like I'm farting. I'm not even farting. Nothing's coming out. It's just my whole body's trembling, bro. Bro, colada. That gotta mean colonic in Spanish. It's... I thought Cuban coffee is the one with no cort cortadito. That's where I fucked up. So I got what I asked for, didn't I? Oh my lord, man, that shit was too crazy, dude.